Chapter 1 Real Numbers Page Number 3 Think and Discuss From the above question In do this What is the nature of Q and R? It may here What is the nature of Q and R means We have to tell about Q and R values are positive or negative or equal to 0 In do this First question A is equal to 13 and B is equal to 3 given after dividing 13 with 3, we can write it as 13 is equal to 3 into 4 plus 1, where q is equal to 4 and r is equal to 1. In step 2, after division, we can write it as 3 is equal to 1 into 3 plus 0, where q is equal to 3 and r is equal to 0. In above solution, q is equal to 4 and q is equal to 3. So we can say Q values are positive, that is Q greater than 0, and R value is R 0 and 1, that is R is equal to 0, R, R greater than 0, and R less than B. Now we solve the second problem of the two these. By dividing 80 with a weight, we can write it as 80 is equal to 8 into 10. Plus 0 where q is equal to 10 and r is equal to 0. In above solution q is equal to 10 so we can say q is a positive number that is we can write it as q greater than 0 and r is equal to 0 so we can say r less than b since 0 less than a. Now we solve the third problem and do this. After dividing 125 with 5, we can write it as 125 is equal to 5 into 25 plus 0, where q is equal to 25 and r is equal to 0. In above solution, q is equal to 25, so we can say q is a positive number. That is, we can write it as q greater than 0 and r is equal to 0. So, we can say r less than b since 0 less than 5. Now, we solve the fourth problem. Do this. After dividing 132 with 11. We can write it as 132 is equal to 11 into 12 plus 0, where q is equal to 12 and r is equal to 0. In above solution, q is equal to 12. So we can say q is a positive number. That is, we can write it as q greater than 0 and r is equal to 0. So we can say r less than b since 0 less than 11.